I've got another build for you in The Sims today, and I'll warn you right now, this one did not exactly go as planned. So let's just get started, because when I first started building this house, I thought I was gonna build a tiny house. Like, I had it set as a tiny house lot type, it was gonna be like 64 tiles, it was gonna be a small, little Victorian sort of house. And then I was like, oh, I wanna use a big wraparound porch, obviously the porch counts as tiles, so it can't be like a tiny house technically in the game, but it was still gonna be small. Like, my stream title was like, building a small house or a little house house or something in The Sims. You know, I, I was really intending for it to be tiny. And then very soon after that, I put a second floor. And that's when it all went away. <laughs> no longer was it a tiny house, it was the exact opposite. It was actually still small, but it wasn't that small. It was now a two-story kind of big house. But I, I kept the title, I was getting mocked by my chat the whole stream, but I do think this house turned out really cute, even though it's not, you know, as small as I anticipated. My favorite part of this house is that wraparound porch. Like, the entire house was in inspired by me wanting a wraparound porch. I'm not even kidding, I built this whole place based on the porch, which is okay. I mean, you're allowed to have dreams of porches, and I, I certainly do. So you'll notice it's like kind of a huge feature of this place, it goes all the way around the back. And you'll also notice the house isn't actually that big on the inside. I mean, it's definitely not a small house like I was originally intending, but it's also only a couple bedrooms, you know, the rooms are pretty small, they're all very closed off, it's not like a big wide open floor plan. I was kind of picturing it being being like an older house. I don't know about you, but I often pretend that I'm building old houses in The Sims. Like obviously you're building it from scratch, like from the ground up, so it's not actually old. It's a, it's a new construction every time, but I like to pretend that I'm building an old house and I'll try and do like older looking floor plans, kind of older furniture, you know, sort of envisioning this house was not just built this morning by me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pretend that it's been here for a while. Anyway, so this house, I will say right now, I did not have a budget for. <laughs> I kind of just winged it. I spent as much as I wanted, although it isn't actually that expensive. Keep in mind, it's not huge on the inside, so I didn't like spend a ton of money furnishing it. I think the house is like 60,000, I want to say. We'll have to check at the end of the video when I open up my game again. It might be more. I don't think it's 80 though. 80 seems really extreme, and I know it was like around one of those. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> but I wasn't using like really fancy computers or TVs, which helps because that can cost like 4,000 simoleons, you know, so it adds up really fast. The other problem that I had with this house was trying to figure out what sort of foundation I wanted to use because I really wanted it to look a little bit older, but I couldn't get any of the like existing foundations to feel right. So what I did was on that porch, I used like a stilted foundation. I think you see that kind of thing a lot. I don't often do it in my Sims build though, like I tend to use the same foundation everywhere, except in real life, often with like porches like that, you might see that like more latticed looking foundation or like this, like a stilted foundation. You know, there's probably something weird under there, I will say that much, but it looks nice. And it's The Sims, so nothing goes under there and it's fine, right? <laughs> I also did not use only the base game, I used a bunch of packs actually, including like university windows and things like that, which I don't use very often, so it was kind of fun to switch it up because I think we all know I tend to use the same base game windows over and over again, but that is only because there's a lot of options. Like one of the issues that I have with a lot of the pack windows is that because they're in a pack, they give you like four or five max variants of the windows, which is nice and all, but like I would like to have a set of windows that fits on like all wall heights. I want like a shuttered and a non-shuttered version. I want like a big one and a small one. Like I want to have a lot of different variants of the same window to like fill up the whole house because realistically you probably have pretty similar windows across the whole house, but we just don't have enough to like make that worthwhile. I always use Realm of Magic as the example here because that pack has really pretty windows, but there's like two giant circle ones and then one little teeny one. And like, it's very hard to fit it places. All the doors are for like medium and tall wall height, but the windows are like that big. And it just, it's so hard to make it match and like fill up a whole house with those windows because there's not enough variation in size. So then I just don't use them even though they're really pretty, but it's hard to make them work. I don't know. I think you get what I'm trying to say though, right? Like it just, there's something about them that doesn't fit right. <laughs> Which is why I use the base game ones a lot because there's more variation. Anyway, this house is like I said, kind Kind of small. Uh, you'll notice that downstairs I've done the floor plan already. So this house actually has two bathrooms, I think. It has one full-size bathroom upstairs and then one like tinier one that's really long and skinny that just has a toilet and a sink in it downstairs. Upstairs there are actually three bedrooms. There's like the parents room and then two kids rooms. And then downstairs is kind of interesting. It has like a, a proper kitchen, living and dining room and like a sunroom space on that far right side with all those windows, which was kind of nice to have. I always think of my grandma when I see rooms like that and she 
she doesn't even have a room like that. Like she has no like all windowed room. But in my grandma's condo, this is kind of hard to explain, but it's not like a nice fancy condo, by the way. <laughs> but like basically it's one of them like older built in the seventies, like two story buildings. And the whole front wall is windows. And then there's no windows anywhere else. Well, in that front room, it's like a little bit lower picture, like, you know, one platform down in the Sims and there's tile and that's where the front door is. And she always has like a little breakfast table and like we play cards there. And then behind it is like the carpeted living room, basically. Anyway, it's, it's not that fancy. <laughs> it's not like a really nice place or anything. It just reminds me of my grandma and like playing cards in front of the window in her condo and like people watching through the blinds, even though they can all see us because we're on the first floor and we're staring right out the window and they're walking by and we're staring back at them. It's kind of nice. Are any of your grandmas like really nosy like that? Just like with the people watching? It's not a bad thing. I mean, I do it too. <laughs> It's kind of fun just like watching the neighbors go about their day. That sounds so creepy. It's not. It's not. We're just sitting in the window and you know. Anyway, I like playing cards with my grandma and the sunroom in this house reminds me of that. That's all I was trying to say. That was the really roundabout way of just saying I like to play cards with my grandma. My new house has space. We're gonna put, I'm calling it my puzzle table, but it's not a puzzle table. It's like a table in, in the kitchen. <laughs> it's a kitchen table. But my new house has space for like another table that we don't have to be like using as the primary space for eating. Granted, I have a table now and I don't eat at it. I eat on the couch, but like we're gonna have a second table in the new house. Big, big moves here. And I intend to have a puzzle on it permanently. And I'm really excited because I like games. I love board games. I love puzzles, but no one really plays with them with me that often, except for my grandma. And I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to trick my family into playing games with me. And if I've got like a permanent puzzle table and stuff, I feel like this is my moment. So I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I haven't bought the table yet, but I haven't bought much for Furniture for, actually, I haven't bought any furniture for the new house. I have furniture, but my new house, I'm not even joking, the living room is the size of like my entire downstairs. I live in a really small townhouse right now, like, so it, you know, I don't have like a massive mansion. <laughs> it's the new house. It's just like, a, it's a, a big house, but it's a lot bigger than this house. And so like, for example, I'm gonna need a new couch because the couch that I have right now is puny, which is not bad. It fits good here, but like in the new house, it's gonna look really teeny tiny. So I probably should start buying furniture because it it takes like six months to come in, but I'm just stressed about picking couches. Can I talk to you about my, my problem? <laughs> Can I tell you about my couch problems? I love the look of a white couch. They are beautiful. I see these pictures online and I'm like, that is amazing. I, I daydream about these white couches, but I know that I can't have a white couch. I don't even mean like, oh, you know, we can't have kids spilling on it or like, uh oh, what if the pets make a mess on the white couch? Me, I'm the problem. I'm going to spill on it. I'm going to spill something on the white couch. I can't have a white couch. It's just not safe for me. There's gonna be pasta sauce on the couch, without a doubt. I mean, I haven't actually spilled any pasta on my current couch, but my couch is blue, like a, a navy blue. So if I spilled pasta sauce, it's not like the end of the world because it's not white. You can't see it that much. But I just know if I buy a white couch, I'm gonna spill on it and be devastated. And I, but I, ugh. I love the look of a white couch. I know I can't get one, but that's part of why I've been like putting it off because I don't know what I want it to be like. <laughs> and it's so expensive. Like if you're gonna buy a really big couch, you need to be really sure of what it's gonna be like because it's so expensive. Furniture is so expensive. I'll probably get like gray couch or something. Don't worry, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I'll show you the couch once it comes in. Anyway, so the Sims house, you can see I'm furnishing the kitchen right now. I did actually go for green cabinets and like a, a creamy colored countertop. These are the cabinets from the vampires pack. And I really, really love them. I think that the vampire's countertop is one of my favorite countertops in the game. I think it's actually pretty similar to the countertop that's on the cabinets, the base game, like most expensive ones. But for some reason, I think I've realized recently that I'm not actually a huge fan of like any of the countertops in The Sims. I feel like we're missing a lot of what is very normal to me. Like a lot of the countertops in this game are very busy. Does that make sense? Like we see a lot of like the tiled countertops, which are cool, but you know, not exactly very trendy these days. And we see a lot of like really patterned countertops, but we don't get a lot of like regular marble. Like why don't we have a regular looking marble countertop? Marble, I mean, oftentimes fake marble <laughs> is really trendy in real life people's kitchens. And we don't really have like a, a marble countertop. We only very recently got butcher block, like last year we have two kinds now, but we had like the base game one, but now we have like a more neutral looking butcher block. Like we're kind of lacking when it comes to nice variants of countertops, even just like a plain solid white quartz countertop. We don't really have that. Like a lot of them have like, I don't know, something weird about them. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't love most of the countertops in this game. I use the base game ones with the tiled countertops a lot, and I don't actually like love the tile counter. I just like the the wood colors on those base game cabinets, and they're like a good like mid priced cabinet too, and they're base game, so it kind of works out to me using it a lot because it's a you know normal decently priced base game cabinet, even though the counters are not the cutest. I know I keep talking about my new house. I'm just really excited, but the bathroom, the bathroom counter in the in the original bathroom had tile countertops too. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean about them, but like they were really something special. It, the tiles were about yay big and they were like cream and red marbly looking. Does that make sense? Like, you know, the marble veining that you see, it kind of looked like that, but that was red and the tile itself was cream. We still have some of the tiles too, because they had like extra ones of them left in like the attic. And so maybe, just maybe I'll put them back. Who knows? I'm just kidding. There's not enough to do that. The other funny thing is in the attic, they must have previously like done in the house, not when we bought it, like probably a long time ago in like the nineties, they must have previously previously done like some sort of fancy painting on the walls. And I don't mean like, you know, fancy paint. I mean like sponge patterns on the walls because there's like test patches on the walls in the attic where this, it's kind of like a swirly sponge shape and they had like done it with red paint <laughs> that matches the, the counters. God, I would love to see what it used to look like, but it was, it was like swirly stuff <laughs> and they must have like done the whole wall or something. I'm trying to find an example. I'm like Googling it. Okay, actually this is not what the whole thing Thing looks like, but there's like a couple test patches. Some look like this, where it's like a white wall and they've sponged on some texture. <laughs> and then there's some that it's like a shape. And I don't know, I've seen people on TikTok do this kind of thing, like in a more modern way and it looks cute, but it's kind of like this, like the test patch in the house looked like this. And so you could just tell that it wasn't cute. Oh, I would love to see it. They've obviously painted over it like ages ago. Cause it, it like looks really old and the house has been around for a while. So like, you know, it's not currently there, but I would love to see what it looked like. I would love to see it. Maybe I'll do that in my office as like an ode to the original, you know, it'll be super cute. How much do you think it would cost to like get special custom painting like that done? Because you know, you when you pay someone to paint your house, like they're talking about just rolling like one color in a room and like that's standard. But like how much do you think it would cost extra if you wanted to do like really fancy sp like sponge texture painting? <laughs> do you think anyone like specializes in that still? I don't know much about pricing for painting walls. I'm not really an expert in that field. Um, but <laughs> I'm kind of curious. My dad actually used to paint houses when he was in high school, maybe college. I don't know. I don't remember. I have to ask him, but I'm not gonna. I'll wait until he watches this back and texts me. But <laughs> my parents watch all my videos. It's kind of cute. But anyway, my dad, when he was younger, he and his friends used to like paint people's houses. I, I don't want to say they ran a business because like that makes it sound a little bit fancier than it was, but they used to paint people's houses. They would get paid to paint like people's exteriors of their homes, which is kind of good because that's hard. And I feel like expensive. I don't, I've never painted the exterior of a house. So I don't really know, nor have my family ever paid someone to do that. Cause when we did it, my dad did it by himself. So I don't actually know. But it's kind of interesting. That's a cool job, right? I don't know. Anyway, the majority of the inside of the Sims house is done. I'm sorry. I know I talk about like loads of random stuff in my speed builds, but like this is just our chance to chat. You know, we catch up, we we tell each other stories, except I'm the only one talking because it's a YouTube video. <laughs> but I just, I need this sometimes, you know? But anyway, I'm doing the landscaping here on this build. I will say that I, I built this on Twitch. I kind of mentioned that earlier. I stream every day on my Twitch channel. If you want to drop by, I do a lot of simming on Twitch. I've actually got a legacy that I'm just starting gen nine of on my Twitch channel. So we're like this close to finishing the 10 generations. And after we do it, we're going to switch to not so berry. And I'm going to use like the gen 10 sim to be like the not so berry founder. And I'm going to try and play like 20 gens of this family. I'm pretty excited about it, but I also do a lot of building and stuff. So if you like this kind of thing and you want to watch me do this live, it's pretty similar. I just, you know, talk about nothing for longer though for like three hours <laughs> instead of 20 minutes. But also it's kind of fun because obviously a lot of this is like chat suggested or at the very least, like we kind of decide on things together, which helps because it's kind of fun to be like live involved in the process. So again, if you like builds, if you like Sim stuff, I do stream on Twitch. So my name is just Lil Simsy. It's the same here. I have the same name on every social media platform, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I'm on TikTok. You know where I'm not on? Facebook. I mentioned this in a video a while ago, but if you missed it, oh my God. So I found out like two weeks ago that someone had been pretending to be me on Facebook, but not just like, oh, tee hee, I'm Lil Simsy and like posting random stuff. They were live streaming on Facebook, but like live streaming my streams. So they would like, I assume, download it or like play it off my YouTube channel because I post them all on my second YouTube channel. And then they would like,
like stream my old streams on Facebook. So when I found out about it, it was like a, a Saturday. I go to the page and they're like actively live at that moment playing my stream from Wednesday, like three days ago. What? And they've been doing it since like October. So for like months, they've been doing this, streaming all my streams back on Facebook. Their account got taken down like after we reported it and stuff, but I just didn't know about it because I, I don't go on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. Like I was completely unaware of this. And somehow they were getting away with this, like to that extent. When I found out that day before it got taken down, I was streaming on my Twitch channel and I was joking a lot. Like, by the way, if you're watching this, it's January 21st at 4.36 PM. <laughs> because I was like, if they play this back on Facebook, someone's gonna find out it's not real. Anyway, they got their account deleted. But that's the whole build. Let's load in and do like a quick tour of the full place. It's easier to see it when you look at it just like in the regular game and not sped up so much. I don't remember what save it's in. Maybe this one? Uh, either way, we can get it off the gallery. It's fine. Not this one. Cool. It's <laughs> super cool. Well, the house itself is called Cozy Family House. Oh my god, it's 84,000. What is wrong with me? 85,000? Oh, and it uses like a million packs. Don't download this. <laughs> this house is useless. Well, anyway, this is what the- No! Is my terrain paint deleted? Oh no, it's not. I think it like moved it over though. I think they like scooted all the terrain paint to the right. There's so many weird terrain paint glitches. You can tell by where the tree is. Sometimes it deletes your terrain paint when you download it. Sometimes it scoots it all over. Yeah, I think they scooted the terrain paint. That's so weird. Whatever. This is the house. Lots of pink flowers. I use some flower boxes. The whole roof is pink, which is kind of fun. The backyard kind of reminds me of the pancakes backyard, which I mean in a good way. And then on the inside of the house, when you first walk in, you walk up the porch into the living room. It's just a big living room, big fireplace, no TV, but it's supposed to be an older house. Remember? Okay. <laughs> so there's a big fireplace. I put a mirror on it. This is kind of sneaky because the mirror is like actually floating. You can't place things on fireplaces like that. But if you do some sneaky stuff, like delete the wall so it won't snap and then place it and like scoot it up, it's a whole thing. But you, you can place things above fireplaces if you fiddle with it enough. And then in the back of this room, we have the kitchen through the hall. There's a little teeny tiny bathroom. I did manage to get a shower in here, even though it's so small. And don't worry, it all still functions. I do this shaped bathroom a lot in tiny houses. It's kind of weird, but I, I kind of like it because it looks like it's been renovated. Like it used to be a closet or something and then they changed it to make it into a second bathroom because the house only had one. My grandparents did that. They had like a coat closet downstairs and it was small, but enough to fit like a toilet and a sink. And they, they changed it to have a toilet and a sink and it's just useful to have so that kind of works and then through here there's a big hallway with the stairs a little dining room not a lot of space in there but it works and I made that sunroom into an office which is kind of cute and then up the stairs it takes you into another big hallway and then there's three bedrooms there's like one shared kids bedroom a little pink and yellow kids bedroom I love this wallpaper with that painting I think it's kind of fun the bigger bathroom with just a big tub and then the parents bedroom which is kind of cute too there's a lot of things in here that are really expensive like this painting 2,000 small don't need to have that. This painting, 3,500 simoleons. So, you know, if you wanted the house to be a little bit cheaper, it's not that hard to adjust. <laughs> But it does look nice. But with that being said, the video is pretty much done. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like speed builds, I post these like pretty much every week. So feel free to subscribe. And also you could check out my Twitch channel because I do stream The Sims all the time. But with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I just love the pink roof on this house. I think it is so cute. I wish we had more roofs that were kind of like this, like a deeper color, but still colorful. It's the best.